Miguel Rodriguez stood in silence, confused and upset. His wife of 10 years, Luisa de Abrego, had just shared an unsettling tale about an episode that had occurred in Spain long before the couple met. Luisa confessed that she might have married another man, though she was uncertain the union was legal. Still, she feared she might be guilty of bigamy. To ease her mind, Luisa reported the same story to her confessor, who immediately ordered the couple to separate. But the matter did not end there. Within a year, rumors of Luisa's alleged bigamy reached Mexico City's Inquisition, and a criminal case against Luisa de Abrego was opened. The year was 1574. Miguel Rodriguez, a blacksmith by trade, and Luisa de Abrego, a free black domestic servant from Seville, had been living in Mexico for six years. Before then, the couple had resided in St. Agustin, Florida, where they had married in the fall of 1565. To date, their union is the oldest documented Christian marriage anywhere in the continental United States. The couple had met in Seville, and together they journeyed to Florida in late June of 1565. Within months of their arrival in St. Agustin, Luisa, 19, and Miguel, 25, were married. St. Agustin's residents gathered to witness the ceremony, and esteemed elites acted as the couple's sponsors. Unknown to Miguel, this was not Luisa's first marriage. Four years earlier, Luisa had been working as a domestic servant in Jerez de la Frontera. One day, alone in her employer's home, Luisa was approached by a young free black man named Jordan, who proposed marriage. She accepted, and the couple exchanged vows. There were no witnesses, and in her later confessions, Luisa was adamant that she and Jordan never consummated the marriage. Luisa testified that soon after exchanging vows, she fell ill and was bedridden for months. During that time, Jordan married another woman, this time in a public ceremony. When Luisa learned of this union, she fled Jerez and moved to Seville, where she met Miguel Rodriguez. Under questioning from the Inquisitor, Luisa explained that she did not consider her marriage to Jordan as legitimate until she witnessed the capture in Mexico of a three-time bigamist, an event she claims led to her confession. I felt scandalized in my heart about what had happened with Jordan. So to ease my doubts, I spoke with my confessor. On February 28, 1575, Luisa appeared unsummoned before the Inquisition office to confess her crime. But the proceedings never developed into a full trial. After a one-year investigation, the bigamy charge against Luisa was dropped. But the tribunal's final judgment was clear. Miguel and Luisa were no longer husband and wife. The case ends there, with Luisa and Miguel both facing uncertain futures. The Inquisitor's final verdict meant that Miguel was free to marry another. Luisa, however, found herself still legally wed to a man who lived on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean, a man she had not seen in more than a decade. Luisa's decision to denounce herself as a bigamist ended her 10-year marriage to Miguel. And although she escaped further punishment, the 29-year-old black domestic servant from Seville was left alone to navigate her new status, unable to remarry and unlikely to return home. <laughs>